Great. Probably have to restart, refresh this as well. All right, we should be in the stream now. And there we go. All right. All right. All right. So we got to look at some of these bug reports. Um, let me open my emails. Um, actually, I'm just going to do this and hope nobody's peeking. So we had a couple of, oh yeah, we also have this issue report. Um, that looks weird. Let's just save that so we can pop it open. So that's an interesting bug report. And we also have, okay, issues with local storage. Quite a few reports there. And some reports on YouTube. They're coming in all channels. Uh, who was this by? Send the Mighty. In the case, I don't need to. I don't know about this. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So he did a test video as well. That's nice. Why is that going to pop up? Ooh. Okay. That's odd. All right. Let's have a quick look if I can replicate this. I don't see how I would. Where's the, what, uh, what puzzle is this? What is it called? September 29th. All right. September 29th. I'm guessing it's from the, the daily puzzle channel. September, September 29th. That's like ages ago. All right. Even Sudoku. Perhaps we can search for it. September 29th. I don't even know how I can scroll back that far. January. December. Oh man, I'm, I'm literally just looking for this puzzle in Discord. So November, two more months, October, almost there, September 29th, huh? August, okay, so I have to find September 10th, September 15th, 25, so we need 29, September 29, so that's the link. All right, I found it. All right. So what did you do exactly? All right. So this puzzle, apparently, so what did he say exactly? I think it was after a refresh. Oh, I got a method message from 
search selected. Don't uh, huh? Ah, I don't know. So let's see. What did he say? Post the same Twitter blabber linked here. Got the strange font issue. So you know, I'm currently under the issue. Customers entered would be in the correct place. The only strange shit were offset. It almost appears like okay. First pause of a refresh. So if I now pause it and then unpause it, no. If I do, if I do this and then I pause and unpause, no. Touch the video, hopefully demonstrate. Okay, so let's have a look at the video again. So he's refreshing, then he pauses, and I see the in the digits digits have moved. So this looks like Edge. Edge or Firefox? I think it's Edge. Edge, what are you doing? It's probably some CS. No, wait, that doesn't look like Edge. Maybe it's Firefox. Ah, uh, yes, I think it's Firefox. Well, let's have a look. Oops. So I pause. And I didn't shift. I resume. That's fine. Okay. And here. Pause, and then resume. Here, didn't shift either. What is this? Is this? This looks like. It doesn't look like any of these, actually. Actually, no, it's not this one. It's not this one. Could it be Chrome? This button's different. How do I not recognize which browser this is? Oh, is that Opera? Um, what the heck browser is this? I don't recognize the icon at the bottom. I think this might... Might be Opera. Opera Neon, I don't... <laughs> oh, no. 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 Can I just open something? Uh, maybe. So it could be an opera bug. Could be just an opera bug. Hey, Tristan, how are you doing? Ooh, this is it. I'm going to load. Unexpected token. Oh, God. Unexpected token utilities. Um. Um, there is no unexpected token, unless it doesn't know JavaScript properly. Ugh, it doesn't know JavaScript properly. How is this an unexpected token? Yeah, it looks like Opera isn't... Understand JavaScript properly? Hmm.
So the thing is, for him, it actually loads. So that error isn't actually the error. Let's see if we can. Um, I don't even know how this works. Can I update this somehow? I mean, it looks like it should be Chromium on the bonnet or something. Um, Opera Neon. Oh, about. Can I check for updates? Ooh. The frick is this? Why are they trying to make it look like a desktop? Update. Okay. Now I have to use Chrome. How to update Opera Neon. I don't even know what Opera Neon is. I am going to download regular Opera in the meantime. And how? <laughs> so I have to literally, okay, Opera Neon. I have to search for it on Google, which doesn't work. Okay, this so far is a terrible experience. So how do I download it? Okay. And can I do this? Where's the download? Can I download it? How do you download something? Here? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. I don't really want to press this. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. All right, in the meantime, this is Opera Neon Auto Update. Things like that make me feel like an idiot. Yeah, I, I, uh, why can't I update it? <laughs> okay, it looks like it doesn't update. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I'm not gonna I'm gonna waste time on that. Um I will install Opera. I'm gonna get rid of Opera Neon, close it, because that's obviously not causing the problem. Yeah, just do it. Oh dear, okay. Alright. Can you just open a website? Okay. And if I pause it, nothing shifts. Now this is still not the same as this because this is the icon of Opera Neon, except Opera Neon was green. Why is it opening something new? Okay. Um, well, I can't replicate it. At least it loads the page now. So it must be that Opera Neon, whatever I had, was really old. All right, can I have developer options, developer, developer, no. Um. No dev tools, nothing. All right, I'm done with this. Waste of time. Okay, get a proper browser. This is, I don't know what the hell this is. Opera GX, okay, sorry, he said. I guess Opera has more browsers than they have, you know, useful things. <laughs> yeah, so Opera GX apparently is another Opera browser. Um, I, isn't that what I just installed Opera Setup? Like it's the fifth copy of Opera Setup. So how do I know if I'm downloading Opera GX? Wait, this is, why am I at opera.com? Opera GX. I want Opera GX. Not Opera for Windows. This one I want. Go away. All right. 
it's another one. Let's try this again. Ugh, and it freaking puts icons everywhere. All right. Um, since I have you here, Adam, could you try opening it in another browser and see if you have the same problem? Okay. Pause and resume, and I still don't have the problem. Maybe you need to update it? Maybe you have an older version? I mean, I can't even open a console here, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Opera GX Developer Tools. Um, oh, main menu. No. Go to the O main menu. Settings. And then... Short. And shortcuts. And then... Configure shortcuts. Dev developer tool bindings. Dev developer tools. Control shift I. Control shift I. <laughs> Except my app is um, F12. Alright, does that work now? Thank you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm lost without my dev console. Okay, so it's, I don't know. Well, I'm not getting an issue in this, so maybe it's the version you have. Maybe you have an old version. It doesn't understand JavaScript or something. So if I restart this, in fact, let me go to the public URL, the one you use. Make sure it's the same. Okay. No errors. Pause. No shifting, resume. So maybe you just need to update it. I have no idea. But I don't get the problem. I mean, it seems to be a bit of a dodgy browser. They seem to have some issues with updating. All right. Um, I have a lot of problems recently with people um, getting 404s. So I'm going to see if I can replicate some of those problems. Uh, let me see what the latest 404 report was. Um, let me get rid of these. Um, actually, was this on Discord? I think somebody reported something on Discord. Yeah, um, Simon sent me something. Ah, uh, no, he sent me the, the thing you sent me. Okay, and then he asked you to email me. All right. Um, but he also sent me something, one of the 404 errors somebody was getting. Yeah, a lot of people are getting the 404s. So, the issue seems to be, for some reason, suddenly, magically related to running out of storage. Um... And I was in the middle of work yesterday. I was in the middle of working on on the new layout feature. So let me try not to mess that up. Yeah. Um. Add debounce function. All right. Yeah. Well, if 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 you find it again or if you can verify that the version you have is the latest or if you can open the the developer console control shift i and see if there's any errors showing that would be really helpful so let's get go to master and well i'm just gonna poke around in our local storage which i started yesterday i believe was it in here? 
Yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope that's fine. How's the audio, by the way, for the stream? Everything fine? So, um, I think local storage dot length. Yeah. So, let's do a little something like this. That count. Mm -hmm. So let's just turn all of these into some information. Let door. Right key item. I do that. I'll do that. I don't dot length. Now let me just um let me just try something keys zero uh. let's just have a quick look at one of these guys yeah no really appreciate it like i i did some new releases and some weird stuff is going on all right um it's strange because I'm, it could vaguely maybe possibly be related to the update, but I'm not certain it can. So I don't want to roll back the full update just yet. Um, let me open the replay tool as well. It's replace. Don't know if that's still functional. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is. So we definitely have a date on these. Okay. Progress data, local storage, match, progress, blah, blah, blah. Sorting by D. Create puzzle. Blah, 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 blah. So it just parses it. Okay. No. And well, for now, let's just output this. It's not keys, it's key.
All right, so not all of those are parsable as JSON. Um, well, let's just do this then. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Some of these won't be parsable. And my side scroll, I still haven't fixed that correctly. So key size JSON, boom. So JSON time is likely closest thing I have. So let's see. Here I'm using it for sorting. First time. Okay, I think this is it. Time. Um. Jason the time or zero. Nope. Don't need to refresh the page either. Let's do this just for neatness six. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I keep pressing F5 to refresh. Reading time. Properties of undefined. I was going to press Control S again every time. Okay. So, some of these won't have time, blah, blah, blah. But the ones that do, it'll be here. All right. So now we can sort them. Sort A B A dot time minus B dot time. And now we should have these should be higher up. Time, yeah, okay, so these won't have so the zeros are at the top and then the more recent ones are near the bottom. Okay. All right. We probably want to reverse that. And then... Uh, how do I want to do that? Log store dot map. Ah, did he did all size time? Key and we want to output um, actually we want to do it like this we want to do this the size and we want to do um date dot now minus time divided by one thousand times 
360 times 24. So that should be in in days, I guess. Uh, after arguments list. Uh, one more. All right. So should start with the earliest first. We probably want to do something like that. Cool. So what we got half a day ago. So that's recent. So these are quite small. So what I, what I wanted to check oh, spammers, spammers are here. All right. So I wanted to check if the update increased the size of the data and it did not. So there's no, well, admittedly I'm testing it on my own local. Maybe I should test it on, uh, on sudokupad.app, which is where I usually do my testing. Actually, I can test it here as well. Although I haven't, I don't think I play here generally. All right. Um, the other thing I want to do is first of all, I only need like the first 30 and then secondly, that total equals zero door dot for each size store for each. Uh -huh. And we'll do total so we want the total size it's rough there there'll be a few keys that don't uh, that don't have valid data in them. So an average of 1.7 and a total of 884 kilobytes. So really no problem at all. Let's check some of my others. Now I might not actually Sudoku. I might not actually play as much as some others. Um, that's always a possibility. 179. So that's a lot considering I feel like I've only been using this domain for a relatively short period of time. Test. It's a total size of 4.28 megabytes. Okay, now let's find out a little bit something. Let's see if there's anything going on with a maximum local storage. So local storage max size. It says five megabytes. I'm pretty close. All right. So then the question is what happens if I exceed that, right? And my God, how have I dodged that so far? I play so much. But then I play on different domains and stuff, so it might maybe origin or occasionally I wipe my state as well. It's a possibility. So oop, nope. So if I do this here, so it's only 1.7 megabytes. Right. Um so a big item. We need a big item, right? Um So new array. So we need to fill five megabytes. Five E six. It's five hundred elements. Not Okay. 
So that should be 500, 5 million bytes, right? All right. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Actually, let's do it like this. Just because I have no idea what they use as their measure. Let's make it six. If I do this, right, I get six, six megabytes. All right. And if I actually look at it, it's just a big string. Okay. So. And then we just put that in here. And let's see if we get an error. All right. So we get an error. All right. So. The thing is, right now, we haven't exceeded the quota, so this stops you from exceeding the quota. So we need to get close to the quota. So we basically want to slowly increase this, okay. Exceed quota. We want to slowly increase it until we exceed the quota. So, let's say if I do four, that doesn't work either. I do three. That works. 3.5. That doesn't work. 3.25. That doesn't work. 3.375. Doesn't work. 3.3. Invalid array length. Oh, fraction. Okay, that works. And half a whatever. That doesn't work. At a quarter, whatever. That works. Mm. That works. That works. But 335 didn't work, right? Yeah. So 34 works, 335 doesn't work, 345 works. All right, we need to get a bit more fine grain now. Yeah, so that's probably the rest compared to what we already had. So that's what's in there right now. So that's what we have in there right now. So let's round it up to three, six, zero, 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 zero. Uh, I should have done something programmatic. Uh, binary search. I, I really should automate this. I should automate this. Just run a loop until until it finds the limit. Mm. Oops. All right. Oh, okay. We're pretty close now. We're down to the last like 10 kilobytes or something. Okay. 5,000 bytes. Come on. All right, that doesn't work. I just got to get to the point that playing a game will basically break it and cause the error so I can start working around the error. And I also need to explore what it looks like when the error exists when you first uh, load the page to see if that's what's causing the 404s. All right, so that's still not cool. That's not cool either. Okay. 100. We're within 100 bytes. So, oh, even less. So soon I should be able to cause the error to appear just by playing one game, basically. Oh, okay. That works. Down to the last 30 bytes or so. This microphone is hiding my keyboard. I'm struggling. All right. So, 
that went in. 70 didn't. So we're like really at the edge now. Okay, that worked. So if I go to 70 here, that won't work. Yeah, okay. 68. Let's just let's just find the exact number. 66. That works. Okay, that's good enough. So what happens when I refresh this page? No problemo. So what happens when I start playing this game, for example? Ah, so now I have an error here. Now it doesn't actually appear, so people will keep playing because it doesn't actually disrupt anything at this stage. Now, at this point, undo and redo won't be broken because I have the data in local memory. But if I refresh the page, this is what happens. And that's what some people were saying, is that they were never getting a stored state. Okay, so... The thing is, at this point, I believe we have our state for this puzzle. Let's see if we can find this puzzle here. So we have a state for this puzzle. The state is just corrupted, I imagine. I guess the... Jeez, leave me alone. Um, I'm guessing the replay will be empty or partial. Hmm. Well, either way, it loads the puzzle. So w there were some people reporting that basically every time they opened a puzzle, it was blank. So they might have hit that quarter ages ago. So I need to find a couple of things. I need to free up space let's let's make a little bit of a list here right so storage storage quota and that's around five megabytes and five megabytes uh what did we say it was in in average per puzzle so about 13k 13k so 5 megabytes divided 13k so it's around 388 puzzles which isn't actually that many that's less than a year's worth of supply okay so there's a couple of different things we can do we can we could ask the user that's the most work I mean dialogues blah 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 you know warn the user etc the easiest would be to clear some storage the question is how do we check for this because by the time it happens it's basically already too late right so um we can obviously wipe everything but we probably don't want to wipe everything we want to wipe we want to a we want to maybe not we want to limit to so okay so one thing we can do is limit to n puzzles so 100 puzzles for example um clear out puzzles older than date D. Now that the problem with this is uh, the, the problem with this is is if the puzzle start data gets ever larger, we're out of luck. The same with this. If somebody plays a lot of puzzles, we're out of luck. Um, what it could do is it could uh, delete the 10 oldest puzzles, for example. Whenever you run out of space, it just deletes the 10 oldest puzzles. And we have another spammer. Now the question is, if I report this guy, Will he be removed from chat? No. So I have to hide him first before reporting them, because otherwise... Otherwise he would still... He would still see them. And after I reported them, I can't see them on the channel anymore myself. Ah, this is a terrible, terrible system. All right. So, um, this I kind of like. Well, this is would be kind of generally like, hmm, probably should be a combination of both, right? Keep the 10 oldest puzzles and no puzzles older than X, right? Um, the real problem is, is I have no guarantee that somebody has that kind of storage quota. So I ideally, it's something reactive, right? So, for example, what we could do is 
um, we could do a simple check. We could say, can we save more than a certain uh, data of a certain size before you start a game? And if we cannot, then we um, then we you free up some space, right? So, for example, we could do something like uh, try to save, and we want something with a healthy buffer. Right? Ah, so we wait a second. We did the average size, but what's the largest, right? So max size equals math dot max max size size. All right, total size, max size. Yeah. Well, <laughs> max size is the, the, the sham data that I stuffed in there. Um, let's put this up here as well. Um, let's sort it by, Where's where do we do the sorting? Sort, sort, here. So instead of sorting it by time, let's do it by size. And we want the largest size at the top. That should give us the 30 largest puzzles or largest data items, right? Um, and these are the smallest ones. We still want to reverse this. Uh, let me know if anything on the screen is too small. I forget sometimes to increase my font sizes for the stream. How do I do a stream announcement on thing? Ah, maybe I need to add that. Let's see if I can do that in the Discord. Edit. I need to. I need to learn how this stuff works properly. <laughs> I'm such a noob. I streamed six years ago, but nowadays I don't have a clue what's going on. Ping, ping, ping. All right. Hopefully, people get pinged. Um, so. So that's the equal. Okay, 26, 23, 23. So we have a couple here that are in the 23K range. So it's rare, but it's not impossible. And this ID looks familiar. And I'm presuming... I don't know why the replay on this would be large, to be honest. It seems to be a simple... All right, that's... Maybe the data is corrupted. Oh, wait a second. Uh, rip, rip, rip. Time. Let's put this up as date actually. So um, when I'm pr when I'm printing this, this is in days, but we also want date dot two oh, string, something like that, right? I just wanted to, ch so I'm trying to remember if this is the last modified date or because it would be good to know that, um, I don't know, if, you know, anyway, uh, I don't know how accurate those are, but for now, I think what we really want to do is try to save, uh, and 100k of data to if error comma erase erase n oldest 
puzzles. So the idea would be to, to just erase the 10 oldest puzzles or something like that. Um, and we could potentially do that with a dialogue. So we can on startup say, hey, we're trying to save 100k. We got an error. We got to uh, we got to erase some puzzles. And the problem is, what if somebody's on some weird device like a tablet or something or a school computer or a Chromebook? I don't know. Something where the quota is much smaller. Um, and where where we don't exactly hmm but basically the idea being this like oh what what if there aren't any puzzles that i can delete because there's some other data right um so that's maybe something we also need to do to deal with because there's no eviction happening right it just fails google storage uh inquire quota can we just ask about the quota short of trying to fill it and then error out. Ugh, 10 years ago. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. And then the amount of storage is keen using local storage. Um, yeah, the, the whole uh, approximate is the problem. Oh, one second. I'm getting some emails from people that have previously reported some issues. Let's see if they shed any new light. All right, so it looks like so somebody who had that problem that the puzzle didn't load at all um, after clearing their storage. That seems to be working now. So it could be that other that um, that people had this happen for a while, and maybe something in the update surfaced this in a different way. People just never realized. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, so let's see. Um, so right now, I don't think there's a way of actually inquiring. The quota, yeah, that's our old stuff. Local storage space. All right, so that's characters. <laughs> Over. Okay, local storage is not full. So that's probably what they're doing. So they're just adding up. Huh. Interesting, all right. Yeah, I think the easiest would be to just try to allocate 100k. Um, so 100k of data or 100,000 characters. Is it fastest to join a hundred element array? You know, if I just do this. Ah, 
only five. We don't want one megabyte. We want one hundred K. Nope. We want one hundred K. Okay, so we have a one hundred K string. And should be be able to say L dot clear remove item exceed quota okay so and the error handler I guess I get uh yeah and we want to you know we want to test it so we need to go bigger here so we do something like test quote and then I guess we'll do a try catch around this. Something like this. And we probably want to clear it out before and after. So let's do this a little bit more thoroughly. Something like that. And... So we'll do something like this. And then afterwards we clear it out. All right, let's see what happens. Fail to execute set item. So that, that took a minute. So this takes a minute. So we probably wanna we wanna probably do this with a with a byte array. Actually, can we just allocate a string? What does this do? Oh. All right, that's not. I think the best would probably be to just. Yeah, actually. So what are we comparing here? Join versus. Chrome air join is almost two times faster than string concat. Okay. Um, um, we'll do something like const test string. So we'll do a 100 character string, for example, right? So we'll do something like this, uh, 1e2, just 100, map join, right? So we do a 100 character string. All right. And then we'll just concatenate as many as we want of those. So let's say we take um, something like this. Right? So that gets us a megabyte. This is what we want to test. So a thousand times 100. No, that's 10,000, right? Times 100. Okay. So test string const 
quota data. String 100. And here we're going to just write this quota data. So this is one megabyte, not a problem. All right. And if we do five, we'll do this. See the quota. All right. So actually what we want is a generic function that I just dump a number in. So we want something like const test storage quota and kb size size so then we'll do we'll do this and uh, we'll do this So we'll just do this. No, floor. No, ceiling, because we want to know there's at least that much space, right? Okay. And then we can do right. And then we can do something like a storage quota uh, one e seven. If I do this, what do I get? Quota data three six, and then one e seven is. 1e7 is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's 10 megabytes, right? Okay. So then we want to make the, the, this uh, something really silly. You know what? We can probably do that in here. So probably want to do something like burp, 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 three quota test then we want to do this now we remove the item we do this and then eventually we got a result and here we want to do this all right so to execute that item on store setting value of quote test is seeing the quote Okay, so we don't really need the result per se, per, per se, but I'm just curious what the result actually would be. Okay, so the result is always undefined anyways. All right, do this. Actually, let equals false, res equals true. And then we do a return res, return res. And now that's the full thing, right? So we can store 100,000. Can we store a megabyte? We can. Can we store 10 megabytes? No. Can we store three megabytes? That should be a false. That is a true. That is that is a true. Um, JSON dot stringify 
local storage length. So, okay, because we have currently 1.8 megabytes in local storage. So that means we should be able to store four, but not five. Ah, we cannot store four either. Wait, why does this quoted data... Quoted data... Huh? Why does it say... Oh, 400,000, and then here 100,000. Who? Huh? Where did this come from? This, then we got the error. And then false true. Oh, because I pasted twice. Alright, never mind. So we cannot do four, four, four megabytes, right? But we should be able to do three. Alright. So that'll be our quota check. Alright. So that'll go into our generic tools thing. We gotta make sure that key doesn't exist when we get started. Actually, um, is there an item exists? Is there an item exists? I mean, I guess I could just check for, for undefined or something. That's on property. Ah, okay, now. All right. So if if local storage dot get item key is not equal under. Uh, not to put no throw new error obviously I'm setting myself up for more errors but now it is um, you know what we could just we, we could eh, we could just change the key right we could just say while Look, it starts to get item key. It's not equal to now. Key equals key plus equals math dot random math dot ran random times ten times ten or zero. Right? That should just give me random digits, right? And then we would just keep adding to it. So let's see if I do a quick test with a very small check, right? And I output the key here. Now the key should always get deleted afterwards. So if I don't delete the key afterwards or before, It'll just do this. Assignment to constant variable. Yeah, so it'll just keep adding digits to the key. All right, and then it'll always work. And then afterwards we'll remove it. So that should, should be all that we need. All right, so that should actually make it fairly robust. All right, um, that's really all there is to it. We probably don't want to uh, cool, cool. So I would change the warning. Ah, um, we'll do a five. No, wait. What do we five? Five megabyte check. Yeah. 
Save the value of quota test, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now here, if I type in test, <laughs> I can just erase all of these. Pity that it doesn't show me the sizes here. Reset columns. I don't know. Cool. See, quota. Boom. All right. So now, be able to test quota. Boom. Test search quota false. And if I do three megabytes, true. Okay. So this function will let us test the quota. Let's put it into utilities. Over here, as test storage quote, refresh. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to check that we have 100 kilobytes before we start. And if we don't have 100 kilobytes, we can offer to delete some files, right? Some, not files, some puzzles. And I think we want to do this very early on, although not so early that we can't show dialogues and whatnot. So ideally, the thing is, mm, what happens? It won't show the puzzle space, right? So if I do this, ah, okay, wait, let me solve this puzzle quickly. So let's solve this puzzle. So we have a puzzle um, in here, then we'll exceed the quota. And after that, we'll see if adding this code will um, will bring the puzzle back without kind of any additional errors or anything like that. All right, I gotta solve this quickly. Use all the tools. Uh, there's no two in here. We have two in here. Two in here. Two. We have two. That won't be a two. It won't be a two. Um, nope, nope. Oh, we know a little bit of two here. Let's just do this quickly, quickly. Okay, five here, so no five here, no five here, no five here. Um, this diagonal, this diagonal. Uh, oh, well, I know there'll be a five there. Sixes. No sixes here. And no sixes on this diagonal. All right. Uh, can't say anything about this diagonal yet. Oh, no sixes here because of that one. So that gets us a six here and a six here. And not on this diagonal. So the six has got to be here. Oh, wait, not. No, we have a six on that diagonal already. So it's not here, not here, and not here. Okay, we need that already. So there's a six here or here, which doesn't eliminate anything. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sevens. There's a seven in here. Uh, that means there's a seven over here. No seven there. Uh, oh, eight. Eight up here. Ah, no eights here because of these because of up an eight in this box. I'm gonna go to speed solver. So tempted to just go pencil mark in here. Let's do this again. Ones. Ah wait, there's no ones in here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Not here, not here. Uh, one of these two has to be a two. Not here, not here. Uh, two on the diagonal somewhere. Another two here. Two here. Mm. Twos are getting pretty constrained now. Ah, close up to the side of the screen. Actually, let me bring the whole puzzle bigger. So, fours, uh, not on the diagonal. 
Hmm. And fives. It's gotta be one on this diagonal. Okay, here on one of these two. On this diagonal, it's gotta be hmm, still here or here. Still the options. Six. Okay, so there's a six here in the gray box. Uh, so there's no six there. Six here. Uh, not a six here. Hmm. Not a six here. Well, this we knew already. This we knew already. Sevens. Seven over here. All right, I'm gonna go pencil mark crazy. Ain't got nobody got time to do this properly. So six or five, not here. No five, two, three, six, seven. No twos. No six. Well, that didn't help a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No nine or seven. No two. No three here. No seven here. No three. Hmm. And on the diagonal doesn't help again. Once again. This is the five really the only thing we found so far. Maybe I need to look at the fives a bit more. So there's a five here or here. If it's here, it's not there. If it's here, it's gotta be here. So this cannot be a five. Hmm. No, wait. If it's here, it's... Ah, uh, no. This cannot be a five. Hmm. It's not super insightful, to be honest. Right, let's do this one. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. So, four, seven, nine, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight. Four, six here. Four, nine, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Well, we know the six is one of these three. Why is this one? I find this one surprisingly difficult and sometimes using that highlighting actually slows me down sometimes actually at this point i usually would just restart There's two up here i see ones hmm. ah wait a second the one can't be here hmm. so one here that's not a one there's something going on in this corner here All right, twos, two here or here, here or here. Ah, wait, there's a two in one of these, and there's two in one of these, so there's no two here, which means this is not a two. And that's not a two. Because, all right, and I don't think this can ever be a two, because if this is a two, then both of these would have to be twos, right? So that's our two here in the corner. Right. Okay. Two. We go seven nine. Right, I think that's our break in. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, I totally screwed this one up. Let's have another look. There's no two there. Because there's a two already here. There's no two there. There's no two on this diagonal. There's a two here or here. There's a two in one of these two. So there's a two here. I uh, completely, I don't know. I was blind to this two completely. Hmm. I mean, the one here excludes that and that's about it. Hmm. Three. Three needs. Not super helpful. There's no four here. Four on the diagonal. Doesn't do anything just yet. I'm sure that's going to come in helpful. There's no five here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that was the five we had earlier. So we know there's a five in one of these two. Uh, we don't have anything on the diagonals for the fives. Hmm. Hmm. Right, we have quite a few sixes here. 
and we have a six here and six is there. There's no six here. Uh, six on the diagonal. No six on this diagonal. So there's a six in the gray box right there. Of these two is a six. Hmm. Not super exciting. Ah, wait. Okay. So there's a six here and six there. Right. Now there's a six here or here. That doesn't help. There's six in one of these three. There's six in one of these three. Six in one of these four. Six in this line. If there's a six here, then there'd be a six here. But there can never be a six here. No, there can be. Sure. Hmm. So close. No cigar. Sevens. No seven there. No, nothing on the diagonals yet. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eights. It's an eight in one of these two, which means there's no eight here, which puts an eight over there. And these two line up with these two, yes. So there can't be an eight there or there. Does that actually find a limit? No, no, it does not. Eight here, here, here. Hmm. Hmm. And nines. So can't be a nine there. So there's nine in these two rows, nine in these two rows. Nine here. I think too much. Now this is hmm. Not a good marking, but it's the best we've got. So, maybe a seven and a three. Two, three. None of these can be twos. These cannot be seven, nine. And this cannot be an eight. Two, eight, nine. I think across this row we had something earlier. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then there's a nine. Hmm. And this row looks interesting as well. So these can't be twos. This can't be a nine or a six. These can be sixes. This could be a six, but can it be a five? Two, three, six, nine. All right, let's have a look again. Oh, I feel like I'm slipping down, but it's actually my table, it's too high up. Hmm. I just needed the mental break, so I'm gonna solve this. This was supposed to be a speed solve. I should have gone with one that I've that I've already got in my back pocket. Ah, there's a two down here. How did I not notice? Okay. Now this is not a two, so now this has to be a two. Okay, I think we had that earlier as well. Mm, no six is down here. So this cannot be a two now. Yeah, okay. Because the three was taken out of there. It's not a two. Two more of these. And on the diagonal there. On this diagonal, it's there. All right. Fives. We've got a five there. So we now know that this is a five. And there's a five there. Because a five there, it can't be there. So that's a five, six pair over here. And then we have a five here and here. And that takes care of both diagonals as far as fives are concerned. And sixes. This can no longer be a six. How come? How can this not be a six? Oh, this definitely can. Ah, oh, because of the, the pencil marking. Yeah, this can be a six, right? And then we have six over here. Right, uh, let's have a look at this one. So, two, one, six. No six here. One, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that wasn't super helpful. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And no nine. Yeah, because six, nine, we already have in the box. So this can't be an eight. These can't be eights. So there's an eight in one of these two. All right. One, three, four, seven. So there's six here. What are the five? The five's there. 
Ah, why can't this be a wall? Okay, because of that over there. And there's seven in here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no seven, no nine, no six, no seven, three, five, eight, nine, three, five, uh, three, six, eight, nine, three, six, eight, so six, one of these. Ah, there's no three here. So that's an eight now. Is that how it works? Seven, nine. So that can't be a nine anymore. Um, so that's a four. Oh. All right. That's some progress. Uh, no seven. So seven over here. One, three, one, six, three, six, three, eight, three, uh, six, eight, three, six. The three down here now. It's a three here. And an eight here. Yeah, this eight is gone. And there's no four here anymore either. And one, three, seven. So that's got to be the eight. So we have two, three, four, five, six, and seven is missing. Can't be a three. Can be a two or seven. So that's a three. A two, seven pair here. All right, let's see if that helps. And we know there's a seven here. What about three? So three here, three down there. And this diagonal, three's here. It's an eight, and that's a six, and that's a three. One and six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here we go. And we need a three on the diagonal. Oh, that's two, not three. Right. Ones. We got a one on the diagonal, and it can only be here, I believe. And the three goes there. And we displace something. I think it was, it was the eight, right? Yeah. And then this three takes this one out. Oh, that's seven and three now. So we have the one over here. Four, seven. The five, six, or nine. And. Uh, two anymore. So there's two over here. Got to be careful that I don't double up on the arbitrary constraints on the other constraints. It's the the checker won't catch it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, another one. Another one. It's one here. One, four, six, nine. One, four, six, nine. Um, once. Oh. So one of this diagonals on the gray box. This diagonal's taken. All right, nothing interesting. Two was almost done, but not quite. It's two over here. Yeah, three. Okay, four. It's gotta be a four. Oh, wait, the corner could be a four, yeah. Let's not be hasty. Four, five, six here so this can't be a six so there's this has to be six it's five six and nine and we have two seven one two three four five like that um what about the nines now because this was sort sorted out on this diagonal there's a nine down here Let's go right in order. That can't be six. So now we have a six here and here. All right. And we're missing one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, four, nine. Four, one. Sevens. Two, seven, nine. Okay, in the diagonal. And then, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. An awful lot of pencil marks. Uh, four, seven, eight, nine. Not an eight. Not an eight. Not a nine. So there's a nine down here. It means that's not a nine. Um, eight. There's got to be an eight. Yeah, that takes this eight out. Oh, no. We had an eight on diagonal. I already made a mistake there. So eight here and here. Sevens. So on the diagonal, so this can't be a seven. So seven here or here. 
undetermined six. All right, so that's gotta be six now. This is a four. This is a six. This is a one. Nine, four, seven, nine. And nine. Not a nine. Okay, one, four, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. So this is obviously not a nine anymore. So what are we missing? Two, seven, and four. Okay. One, four, seven. Ah, this can't be a nine anymore. One, four, seven, two, four, seven. Okay. So where does the nine go? Here, here. That makes this is two. Seven, two, two. Not a seven, one, four, two, one, and seven, four, one, three, five, six, seven. The so one goes not here. One, two, three, four, four, one, seven, and one. Okay. So let's bring the browser back over here. So we solved the puzzle. And Um, I feel, I almost feel like doing a generic function to actually tell me how much space there's available. But I think if I do something like this. I think this is what we did before. Right? All right. Um, let's do a let's do a binary search finally. Uh, but it goes only to the nearest hundred. But that's fine. That's fine. So we'll do something like this. Find local storage space. So we'll basically start with something that's too big and then we'll we'll binarily bin binarily <laughs> search through it, all right? So, const test check space size so, then we'll do a we call this function size is free if yeah, so we want a min max type deal, right? Uh, check space min max. At mid equals go round and plus max. Let me do. So, um I'll just do this zero and ten e seven. One e seven is wait one two three one two three. That's right, ten megabytes. Right, no. So one e seven. Yeah, we'll do ten megabytes. Right. Let's do ten e six just so we so we think in. Megabyte units, right? That'd be 10 megabytes. Okay, and that should fit. And then, obviously, once we find it, we return that value. All right.
Okay. So. If. So we just don't want to do this. Return. If this is true. Actually, we want to check max first, right? Because if max is true, we just return. Or do we want to check min first? Mid, mid, mid first. No, we want to check mid first, but we want to check that if uh, max minus mid is less than whatever, right? If max minus mid smaller than our tolerance, which is around 100, return... We'll just return max. No, we return mid. No. Um, <laughs> going back and forth on this. If I check max first, that's a check every time. So it's twice as many checks. So that's actually not really great. Just trying to think. Yeah, I know, yeah. So that that's fine. That's fine. I'll do that. So we return that value. Print it out. Here we return this, and then here we'll just say, if this is true, if this is true. So if if mid the value at mid is free. And we'll check again between mid and max. Else, we'll check between min and mid. All right, and that's our binary search done. And that's it. That should do the trick, right? Don't know how long it'll taste. Boom, boom, boom. Test storage quota, quota exceeded. Now, that output is that warning here. Yeah, so we probably don't actually want to print that out. Okay. So that's that's the amount we found that we we should be able to to claim. Okay. That's actually also a function worth keeping here. Find local storage space test local storage quota. All right. So that should exceed our quota here. Okay. And now if we do find local storage space, the number should be very small. Find, find local storage space. Find local storage space. Do I have to refresh? So that gives us 77 bytes. All right, so we don't actually error out here yet. So maybe I need to do another 77 bytes plus 77. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. So, um, my thing magic is not accurate enough to do the final couple steps. It still says 77. Mm. <laughs> All right, so the accuracy is less than 100 bytes. Uh, that's a bit of a nuisance. 70, 65, 63. All right, so now if I refresh, that still works. But if I do this, it now fails. It still, it still loads it though. And that's what people were saying wasn't working. Maybe it's a, uh, I hope it's not like some really 
specific small amount that um, that'll cause the problem well let's have a look anyway so here's where we're starting we're loading the puzzle yada 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 now the problem is at this point if we have an error it might already fail although it it shouldn't really add data. I think it might try to save data, but I don't think it actually will break. Except... Hmm. Oh, okay, I get it. What happens, I think, for people is that... Yeah, 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 now I'm getting it. So, obviously, this puzzle is already stored. It's always going to be there. But if I play a new puzzle now... So, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get a new one. So... Well, just... Oh, nope. Let me just quickly grab one from my from my little bookmarklet. Alright, so let's say we start a brand new one. Now, that's fine, right? Um, and I'll probably can be able... I can start playing. But it won't start... It, it will immediately st fail to save stuff, right? So, and I will never know because it'll 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 perfectly it'll work perfectly fine because it's not using local storage until I refresh. So for those people, it has failed a long time ago, and that's why they. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah. So this one will just never save. Okay, so it's the new puzzles that fail. All right. So now what we need to do is we we want to check our local storage here. So, and pretty early on, we can probably do it up here. Um, I, I don't want to do it so early that the framework isn't ready, because we want to be able to show a dialogue, right? But, we can do this, and we can say something like, test local storage for all that. And we'll just do one E5, one E5. That should be a hundred thousand, right? Right. So if I start this up and this is false. Okay. So we're going to say, um, and we probably won't have a separate function for this, right? Function, um, ensure local storage quota I'll just do something like this right now ideally this would be async blah 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 but you know we'll we'll just hack it in there for now and we'll probably do something like this so I know where I am in the code right Something like that. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Adam. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was alone. So if a quota is not available, now we want to use some of this code to basically look at our at, at look at our data. And what you get what you I'm guessing we want to delete the oldest puzzles, right? Now the problem is we want to delete a certain amount. We don't want to just delete no puzzles at all. So we have a couple of options, right? We can say, okay, delete all puzzles older than X. That doesn't ensure we have enough space. We can delete all puzzles beyond 100 puzzles, right? But none of those really help. What we want to do is delete at least 100, 100 kilobytes worth of puzzles by reverse date order, I'm guessing. Ah, awesome. Really appreciate it. That's, that's, how, that's how we should do it. All right, so let's do something like this, right? So we'll just get the local storage stuff. 
And this, all of this should go into the framework, right? Because framework is usually what handles the storage. Um, so here, we're getting them all by date, blah, 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 right? And then... Yeah. And then what we want to do is we want to go in date order. So we want to sort them in reverse order off by date. So, uh, um, progress data. And we probably don't want to transfer all of this stuff into them here. So we don't actually want to bring in the J JSON and the item. Um, and in fact, if we don't, if we can't parse this, then we don't actually want to get the data either. And we probably want to ignore data that's too small. Uh, well, all sorts of stuff, right? Um, if json.time, and then we do this. And we only push into this like that, right? And then instead of store, we call it progress data, make it make a little bit more sense. And then we want to output the top 30 of this, right? Like that, I think. So, what are these numbers? What do, the, what do the numbers mean? Okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. bouncing around. So the last number is the number of fractional days since that puzzle was saved, I believe. Then here we have the date. So this should be sorted in reverse order now. That's fine. And then we have the sizes here. And the size is not just item length, but it's key length as well. So key dot length, length plus item length. And forget the fractional day stuff. We don't care. Actually, we actually don't really care. Um, I want to get the size out first. But we also kind of want to have com com cumulative size. So that... Cum uh, total size. Right. So if we do this, and then we have total size here. So that gets us to 25. So we want to keep going until we get to over 100K. All right. Now the question is, what if we don't get to, to that number? And the other thing is we probably only want to look at puzzle data in this format, right? So we don't accidentally grab anything nasty. So are we going to do this? And now that we only look at Jason inside here, we can get rid of that. And date, we can also do that in here. And then we could say if e dot match slash progress equals no continue. So we're only looking at puzzle progress for now. In the future, we probably there's some other stuff we want to we might want to clean up like old data from previous versions. Settings data can be big, not really so much now, at least it doesn't grow. And then we have commutative data, right? And we can't sum it up here because this is not sorted. Okay. So we really kind of want to do this then. So less than progress data. I just want to put that in here. And this to the top. 
And then here, we're gonna do this. Plus equals progress data i dot size if total size is greater than all right so greater than test size break so, log. so now we basically make sure we get over a hundred thousand bytes or over our test size bytes characters whatever and we'll see which elements this applies to and then we basically just want to remove them so that's 53 and and if I do if I do this uh I minus one dot length. Now the question is, <laughs> this brings it over the size, right? So we want to step one back. So this brought in element. So I was 40, 53. So that's zero through 53. So that's 54 elements. Ah, my brain breaks. My brain hurts. Actually, if I do this, so 53, we want 50. Th that's zero. Uh, index is 53, so that's 54 items. So we want 53 items. So the sum of these should be less than that. So if I do, now I'm going to embarrass myself because I can never remember the order of arguments here. We have accumulator. No, we have current accumulator, and then we can say ack plus equals car dot size um, zero. I guess. Nope. Every time. Every time. And so we have the accumulator here. And then current value. It's like USB sticks, you know, it doesn't matter which way around you're doing it. You're always going to get it wrong. Ah. Uh. Ack plus zero. Mm -mm. What? Ah, because I'm not slicing. So the total size is 1.74 megabytes, right? So 975. Except, obviously, I want to delete enough to go over 100, right? So I don't actually... So I actually want to go plus one here. Yeah. So that's how much I want to. So if I delete that much, this free space afterwards will be sufficient. Now, at this point, if I get to the end of this list and I haven't reached that, well, that's all I can do, right? Um, but this code should still work. So, is there some clever trick if I delete delete many items? I want to delete many items. Or do I have to loop through them one by one? Hmm. Alright. Okay. Well. Alright. Key. So I actually want to have a quick poke around at this. And that should list out the keys if I spell things correctly. So these are all the keys and these are all the dates. So the most recent one would ah the oldest oh wait ah these are sorted by most recent first i want the opposite so now it'll get me 
puzzles from 2020 that are tiny, but there's a couple of big ones. 20k, 20k, 26k, so that's 60k, 7, yeah. So that adds up to 100 whatever, right? 103. And the most recent one is from 2020. So that's uh, you know, more than a year ago. So I guess I could say goodbye to these. Um, let's see what I would lose. <laughs> if I go here, what is this? All right, just something I was testing a long time ago. But let's look at this one. This is quite big. I think we looked at this earlier one. This was weird. Oh, yeah. So this has a long replay list. Now, it could be that I was using this for testing. So it could have fake uh, instructions in there. So the only reason that that uh, replay might be so long. In fact, it's 85 minutes long. Did it really take me that long to play this puzzle? Ah, in fact... Yeah, it's struggling. It could just be a corrupted playback as well. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, that exceeded the quota. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But if I do this, now the question is, do I want to inform the user, right? So if we do dialogue, if we show some sort of dialogue here, like this, um, Uh, isn't there title? Yeah, there's a title. I do title storage quote quota exceeded. Um, local your browsers. Local storage quota is filled with old puzzle data. Um, and what we probably want to do is we want to find, so let progress data. We want to do this, right? Something like this. And we should be able to do something like um, old progress data zero dot date. Uh, oldest, newest. I think that's the order these would be in. So your browser storage code is filled with old puzzle data. We need to delete progress for puzzles between. And now I'm just going to write the dates and hope the user, you know, I hope people won't get mad at me. He's like, hey, I don't want to delete my old puzzles. The thing is, this will happen frequently, right? Because it only frees up 100K. So I might want to free up roughly tw 10 puzzles worth so 20k so every 10 puzzles it would do that yeah let's do that actually well for now we can do this right it's for testing um with all puzzles we do, do delete progress for puzzles between progress date dot locale um, do I have date format? Do I have JavaScript date format? Yeah. I think it's locale date string. Do lo no, seriously. To locale date string. Do 
Go to locale. To locale. Date. Oop, there's a message waiting for me. All right, uh, Doggo is coming home soon. I probably have to end the stream then. So between that date and 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 this date. So that oldest date. So I think it's better like this. And then options. Um, proceed, cancel. If you cancel this. If you if you do not proceed, when no new uh, data can be stored. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing something required to show the dialog wasn't available yet. So what if I do set time out uh, like this? I don't know what I need to wait for, to be honest. Uh, storage code exceeded. Your browser storage code is filled with old puzzle data. We need to do progress for puzzles between 2910 2020 and 1812 2020. All right. Uh, to locale string, can we format that with some sane uh, formatting? Um, to locale date string, I want the Dutch date format. To locale date string ISO date format year month day. Yeah, I think there's a country that uses that that we can use options. Mm. Will this do the trick? Nope. Nope. Year in America. No, this doesn't work. They lied to me. This does not work. Oh, I'm getting hot. Um, sorry, can say what you want. Here's an example of splitting on the key. I mean, that's probably, probably the easiest to locale date string.
Mm, no. Uh, Japanese? Yeah. Is that gonna be available everywhere? I need to do these things. Nope. Oh, why don't any of these work? If I use to ISO string. I have a function somewhere that I always use for this stuff. But I don't know if it's format. for the timer. Nope. Yeah. Where was I? Oops. Yeah, I didn't get to anything. All right. Let's just do that up here. Then I don't have to worry about that. Down there. They replace most of the storage. Well, the, the replay is the solved grid. But yeah, I'm, this is sort of a quick fix because a lot of people are, are, are dealing with this right now. Um. To be honest, what I really want to do is uh, store the replays in a more compact format. I mean, I've tried to already make it compact, but I'm sure I could make it like 10 times more compact. Um, yeah, I mean, right now, people don't usually don't even know that it stores their old puzzles, you know. And ultimately, I'd love to have like a full puzzle manager and all this and maybe let people download the puzzles and all this. Um, but for now, this is sort of a quick fix. I mean, it still stores like 400 puzzles, with, which I think is fair enough. I mean, I'm, if I can, if I can optimize, I could even. Comp I don't even think it's compressed currently. Um, but of course, compressing string data is always a bit uh, iffy. Like you know, I lose two months of puzzles from like a year ago. Okay, to be fair, I don't know how many because I, lately I've been using. Um, I wouldn't be running on localhost, right? My daily puzzle play happens in Sudoku Pad on my phone, so I don't even know uh, how much storage, and like. I'm, I'm split, right? I have two domains and each domain has its own storage. So other people might have a lot more data stored. Um, I'm going to talk to some of the people who play a lot to help me out. I'm gonna ping some of the uh, heavy players because that's gonna be tricky to do on my own because I, you know, I have so many different domains and the data is all separate for those. Um, I'd like to get some Unicode character in there for Unicode hard disk. Unicode character. Uh, disk yeah, might not be very commonly <laughs> very commonly used unicode space uh, storage unicode data yeah that's probably not gonna be helpful um, This is not going to be helpful. Um, pictographs. Mm. Find store. Storage. No. Da data. Data. Um, file. 
maybe file cabinet file folder file cabinet maybe this one problem is what do the symbols look like on different systems right <laughs> what about alert danger warning sign hmm. that might be good I think there was a problem um yeah that's the problem that was a recent freaking addition um and now I have to put them in a span, otherwise, for some reason, they just come out black and white. Huh. I thought, I thought I did something there that fixed it. I think it was the font weight, right? I don't know. Maybe it's the font face. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is probably more generic and more available. Storage quota exceeded. Yeah, I, I, I have the same problem. Also, it's very likely that some of these older puzzles actually won't load properly anymore because data might have uh, changed since then. Like I, I, I put version numbers in, but I'm not checking them correctly. So there's a bunch of work I need to do to clean all that up. All right, I, I just want to make sure the text is simple enough and easy enough to understand. Your browser local storage quota is filled with old puzzle data. Like half of those words don't make, make uh, sense to most users. So I'm going to say you have too many old puzzles. So if I do this, you have too many old puzzles. Actually, that should just be the title. That's all I need. Right? Something like this. You have too many old puzzles. And then we don't need that. We need to delete progress for puzzles between then and then. So something like this. Ah. Do I want to put that on a new line? We need to leave puzzle, progress for puzzles between and blah, blah, blah. If you do not proceed. All right. And we can do a little bit, uh, a little bit more finagling. Proceed. Erase. And we can say there all progress data dot length puzzles. Hey, Pooch. I'm still working. I'm here. Say hello to the stream. There's Adam there listening. Come. Um, yeah. oh. Here's Toby. Where's your yellow frisbee? You always have a yellow frisbee. On my profile picture. Mm. Look, Toby. People can see you. This is going to be my most popular stream now. You're not impressed? All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's my signal to to wind it up. <laughs> so, uh, let me just finish this dialogue. We need to delete progress for puzzles between brows. If you do not proceed, no need to can be stored. Erase. Yeah, I don't know. 
telling people how many puzzles are going to be raised, is that going to bother them? Is it going to make them scared or no? To delete progress for, or maybe we'll just put that or up here. Erase. Cancel. We need to delete progress. And I should probably say delete old progress. Something like that. Just want to make it super simple. You have too many puzzles. Do you have too many old puzzles? We need to delete progress for 20 puzzles between blah, blah, blah. If you do not proceed, no new data can be stored. And if I change this to, let's say, 300,000 or 400,000, then this will say we need to delete progress for 75, nine puzzles. Ah, and we can maybe do something like, um, does that make sense? So people know like, oh, I have a thousand puzzles. Deleting a hundred suddenly doesn't sound that bad. Or 79 of 401 puzzles. What about four? Make this strong because that's the important bit. Um, and then out of total, out of a total of puzzles, puzzles, full stop. And then we'll do a, and then between the dates. And then maybe we don't need that. I don't know. Too, too verbose again? Progress of 79 out of a total of 41 puzzles. Something like that. We need to delete progress for 79 puzzles. And now uh, maybe put the word puzzles inside here. Like that. Between the dates from, from, do people recognize these as dates? And I hope they do. Between the dates. How about if I write from, Two from to do to if you do not proceed, no new data can be stored. Put this as a separate so it gets a little bit of spacing. Okay. Woo! All right. And I think if I want to have there a primary action, um, do I need to do this? There's a way of marking them as primary and primary. Yeah. One sec. Um, default, no, there is a, there's a primary dialogue. So if I go here, no, no, oops, no, nope. come on. There must be a dialogue that uses this stuff. Ah, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. So now we just need to plug in the functionality itself. So we have our two dates. progress data. Let's rename this to old data.
Okay. That gets us a cancel. Delete all progress, delete all progress. And cancel here gets us cancel as well. Wait, what? Button cancel, button delete all progress. All right. Const handle button. If button dot match delete if button not match if if not but match delete turn console dot error erase 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 and that's all that's all you do you just write what you want it to happen and it'll magically just do it and then you can go home much easier than actually have to write code when in doubt always program like that see erase 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 and we're done <laughs> all right no um the final bit should be relative relatively easy so old data so we can get rid of this now all right Old data here, total size, blah, blah, blah. Put available, false, delete old data. So we basically just want to go through these and erase them. Old data for each and keep. Local storage dot move item key. And then after this, I want to find out how much space there's left. Uh, find local storage space. And we probably want to do it before and after. And let's just test it with a small amount. Let's say 10,000. Boom. So we need to erase progress for 12 puzzles out of 401. If you don't proceed, no need progress can be recorded. Delete all progress. Erase, erase, erase. So now we have 23 available. And two puzzles. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. Hey, David. Um, so the problem is my quota thing is only accurate to 100 bytes. Um, I could change it to make it perfectly accurate. Uh, should I? Should I? It won't make my life easier. Basically, all I need to do is after I've done all of this, add the remaining bit. In fact, uh, shouldn't be too hard, right? So, math ceiling. So that's the size it calculates. Const rough size equals this, right? So it's going to do rough size of this. And then we got to do rough size times string length and we can do size minus right and we can basically just do this And then we can just add these two strings together. So there's one string concatenation of large of, two, of a large string. So if we do this right, it should be more accurate. 
So that should... Ooh. Ooh. Who knew? Test local storage quota. Invalid array length. Invalid array length. Size minus rough size. Ah. Wait. Ah, ceiling. So this should be floor now. Yeah, floor. If max minus mid is less than 10. What if we do this? So it deleted two. So now we have 37 available. Not sure why we're, we're trying to get 37 available. Quota available. Uh, we probably want to do this as well. So we're find local storage space, 37167. Test local storage space. Okay, there's a problem here. So this is obviously not correct. Hmm. Yeah. Min, mid, max. Uh, why do I not know how binary search works anymore? Ugh. This is also something I need to fix. Uh, why is it screwing up like that? Thought I'd fix that. I still need to fix that. I need to fix it more. So, we're looking for So that's what's available. Find local storage space 37167 quota available. So quota available is true. And then I don't do anything with that information. <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot. Okay. So it always offers you to delete at least one puzzle, right? If quota available, return. Okay. Now, if I fill it up again with, I don't know, 30,000. Oh, wait. How did I fill it up before? Fill it up with a very specific number, if I recall. Uh. Ah, wait, I can find out what the number should be. So this should be fairly accurate now. So that's what's available. Ah, uh, wait. If I remove exceed quota, and then find the space, and then fill that space. And mm, it is not accurate. I thought it would be perfectly accurate now. Is it one less? No. Three, five, three, six, seven. Yeah, it won't be smaller equal to one. What if I do this? Find local storage. So is that accurate now? Yeah. Two. So if I add two, wait, if I erase this, and then I find how much there is, Probably because the key takes up some space. Uh, anyway, so now we don't have enough space available. I hope this doesn't take so long to, to process. So, I delete one puzzle. And now we have enough space available. Okay, so that, that's fixed it. Because we're only looking for 10k of space. Okay. 
So if I set this now to 200k, and large puzzles take maybe 26k, and small puzzles maybe 3k, then and I'd like to collect more data on that. Um, but 200 kilobytes would give us around, you know, 15 to 40 puzzles. So if it asks people to erase every 15 to 40 puzzles, it's probably not too bad. It's like once a week or something. Um, it's a quick fix. Um, I'll probably have to keep working on this a bit more. All right. Now, is this good enough? Because it will overlap with other buttons and so on. Ah, let's try. So now, oh, okay, wait a second. First of all, let's make sure. So all of this should work now. Um, can I simplify this? This is, I mean, most of this is just niceties for the dialogue, right? What am I doing here? I'm calculating. Until I reach test size. Here I'm filtering. I'm pulling out the items. Make sure that I check for errors and so on and so forth. Including the key length here. All right. I mean, the other thing could be we could literally delete one at a time until we have enough space, but that's probably even more uh, terrible. All right. Okay, now because we asked for 200k of space. So that brings me up to March. So that's less than a year of puzzles. Ugh. Ah, but that's because we have exceed quota filling up a lot of space, right? Obviously. So I, I wasn't even half full. So it should, it should, you know, it should have like 800, space for 800 puzzles or something. Ah, wrong tool. So um, let's have a quick look at the diff. So all we added was this stuff in here, and we can probably get rid of the error. We don't actually want to report this error. All right, and then here we added this function. Now the question is, do I want to move that into the framework? Mm. For now, I think I can leave it here. And we probably don't need this here. And probably what we want to do is do this here or of dialog or remove it down that way because we can probably proceed with all the other stuff here no problemo and then at the very end go here and just do something like like this. And yeah, and we don't need to do a set timeout here. And all this other stuff should work. Okay. Now, of course, I want to do this again. do this now it'll want to do this okay let's reduce it so I don't delete so many puzzles delete all puzzles done now I don't think I need to refresh the page then I think it's fine all right bring this back out All right, and then I should be able to play normally. So don't have time to test it now. Refresh it. Oh no. Is it not storing data now? Shoot. Or did I refresh it quickly? 
Ah, okay, I just refreshed it quickly. I, I need to do a leading edge save. Okay, so we added two functions to utilities, test local storage quota and find local storage space and ensure local storage quota with the dialogue. I think, I think that's acceptable. So, uh, that should bump the minor version. Um, of course, we need to reset the patch version because it doesn't do that automatically. I'm lazy and I haven't put that in yet. Okay. So that's version 0 0.43. Now, the annoying thing is this needs to be tested before I can bring it to production. In the meantime, a lot of people are going to still have these errors. Uh, of course, if they just go to test if they have the error on production, they probably don't have as much data stored, so I can just tell them to go there to play. Hmm. All right. Um... Add storage quota check. So actually, I can probably just deploy that. I think I can just deploy that to, to test, obviously. All right. I think that should be a safe deploy. I'm not currently rolled back, right? Ooh. One second. Did I just... Oh. Ah! It minimized my window. It did it again. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm too late now. Version 1412. I don't remember now if that's... What is it deploying now? Did I just make a big boo-boo? 1412, 1412. No, we're currently safe. Okay. So now that should be deployed to test. All right. And that should be fine. And now I can also update Stokopad. And I don't remember the command by heart. There's so many. Deploy staging. So run deploy staging. And then I'll have to go through caching all that. All right, that's it for now. Um, I think that's actually a really good solid feature. I'm quite happy with it. Um, of course, it's not the end of the story because it doesn't actually it doesn't solve the problem in a very elegant way so what i'd like to achieve now is a couple of things like additional information like i mean you know there's a replay tool i'd like to for people to actually know what their replays are and all this um and like you said maybe some people they don't care to to save the replay itself they just want to save the final state so that might be another thing to do um and ultimately, it's got to go server side, right? Cloud stuff. So people who want to save lots of replays, you just got to, you know, create an account or whatever. That's where it's got to end up eventually. All right. But for now, I'm quite happy with it. I'm happy to have that dialogue. Um, and hopefully that'll fix a lot of issues we've been seeing lately. Um, especially with 4.4. The weird thing though is I'm not getting the 4.4, so I'm not sure yet if these are exactly related. I've seen some screenshots of people sending me uh, that get the 4.4, where it said a quota exceeded in the in the in the console. So it does seem to be related. But unfortunately. Let me see. Um yeah. So, for example, I've got this screenshot. Oh. 
Yeah, so it definitely is a code to exceed it. Ah, wait a second. This might not be chromium. No, it is. Is it? Oh, they all look so similar in these days. Maybe it's Edge. So it could be that one of the other browsers deals with it in a different way. Could it be Edge? This looked like Edge. And the puzzle symbol is what Chromium uses, but the tabs look slightly different than mine. Yeah, they're squared out on this side. Wait, if I go here? Yeah, see, the, mine are rounded. Maybe Firefox? Ah, I always gotta guess what browser people use. Um, and then when with different color schemes and stuff, God knows. Yeah, so it doesn't look like like this either. Like this little house icon could be Chromium. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, weird. All right, I'm gonna have to ask them again to see. Or maybe they've sent it to me in one of the other emails, so... I'm gonna have to dig some more. Alright, anyways, um... This was a... Maybe Brave. Yeah, well, there's so many. Well, I gotta go walk the dog and so on and so forth and eat food and sleep and all that. It's fun stuff. Um, good stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Thanks, Adam, for helping me out. I hope, um... I can fix the other issues you were having as well. Um some way or another it's hard when i can't see the problem and i don't know exactly what what's going on thanks for stopping by really appreciate it uh feel free to pop by on discord where we can uh add features to our feature board you know we have this thing going on um i think i actually added a feature related to this um a lot of the product 10 custom toggle settings was that under issues uh issues as uh, background color and tool Alternate restart, but your page internet aren't reported as well. Well, this is a generic thing that I really need to do. Uh, better storage mode to ace all the puzzles. Here we go. Go, we'll put that here. So this obviously has changed a little bit. All right, anyway, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. See you in the next stream. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.